Hello and welcome back to Somo Diecast. My name is Ron. Well, the Diecast and Modelers community over in the UK are having a little challenge. And that challenge is to build any American vehicle. So I am going to uh, take this little Ford F F Series truck with the service bed on it. And I'm going to do a build that I've wanted to do for a very long time. Uh, we're going to take this little truck and we're going to slam it. Probably going to keep the blue but lose the tampos. And uh, weather it up a bit. And I'm just going to build me a slammed utility truck. So everybody stay tuned. I'm going to get this thing blown apart and see what we're up against. And we'll get this build going. As I said, everybody, please stay tuned. Okay, we have our little F-Series all blown apart. Uh, on the fence about the paint color, if I can get those tampos off, try using the dry erase marker. Uh, we may see if we can get those off. If not, may paint it a more service truck appropriate color. The uh, window came out reluctantly. Kind of blew that out a little bit. That's no big deal. There's no interior. <clears throat> so, uh, not going to worry about it too much. Clean it up a little bit. It's going to be a, kind of a rat rod anyway. Base has a nice little... Uh, four-wheel drive detail but we're going to go a little different direction we're going to go down not up so I'm going to take care of that got one post that been held in the back by two tabs and since we're going down we're not going to reuse these wheels so all right well let's get the casting in the stripper and uh, I'll get to picking out some wheels and doing the uh, custom drop on the on the uh, base, <clears throat> excuse me, and see where we go from here. Everybody, stay tuned. All right, <clears throat> we've got our little service body, service bed, uh, Ford F-Series matchbox all cleaned up as, as much as I'm going to. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, it's going to be a little on the ratty side. It's kind of the idea. And I wanted to get it as low as I could, so I had to go in here and do a lot of clearancing up in the wheel wells. I could get these wheels tucked in there just as far as I could. And I also did something a little different than I normally do. 
Uh, normally I would put the axle tubes here on the base, but instead I decided to cut the notches a little deeper and super glue, a little CA glue in there to get that up as high as I could. Uh, looking back, I don't know that it's a great idea. Still got a little baking soda in there. <laughs> Uh, but uh, it takes a little bit of effort to get the, get the wheels in it with the axles. But after sanding the base, it does get it right down on the ground. Those wheels clearance just a hair's breadth below these two areas here where I uh, sanded the base. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and get this into paint and get uh, rolling along and then uh, once we get it painted we're going to weather it up get some decals that are going to go here on the doors but uh, all right let's go ahead and move along and get the paint stay tuned
And here's a quick look back <clears throat> at our F-Series Ford service bed matchbox truck. Let's uh, go ahead and get to the reveal and see how this came out. <clears throat> Everybody, please stay tuned. And here is our completed matchbox F-Series Ford service bed that I have uh, slammed and put on some uh, oh, a little, little bit fancier tires, a little, a little more contemporary. And uh, but we decided to leave leave the imperfections, the rust, and the tarnish all intact. And this is now a uh, shop truck for a local customizer by the name that is a company. His shop is named Queen City Auto Works. That's W-E-R-K-S, Auto Works. Uh, I, I have seen these around, and I tried to look for a good candidate, and I ran on to a couple of these, and uh, I, I love the way it came out, uh, even though I did it. <laughs> I... Uh, I uh, tried to be as subtle as possible with weathering, but at the same time give it a good dose of weathering because, uh, you know, shop trucks and, and uh, utility trucks like this are not something that are typically just pristine. And to find one that is in uh, usable condition and keep it cool, but uh, maybe, uh, you know, drop in a big motor and uh, slam it down into the ground and uh, put some nice wheels and tires on it. I, it you know, it's just, uh, it, it, uh, it would suit me perfectly fine. So, anyway, I'd like to thank the Diecast and Modelers community for having this Any American Vehicle build. And uh, this is a Ford F-Series, which makes it an American vehicle. And I hope you like this video. Uh, if you do, please give me a thumbs up. And uh, if you're not a subscriber, please do. And uh, be sure you tell your friends. I've got a lot of builds that uh, I'm doing all the time. And... Uh, some of them with the diecast and modelers community, some with my, uh, the build group I belong to, the diecast international builders, and also join in occasionally with, or very frequently with the three blind mice and the four horsemen. And uh, on top of that, I have uh, a random restoration Monday every couple of weeks where I restore a new Hot Wheels matchbox Mitch toy, something, whatever, whatever I'm in the mood to build, and then I, I typically build a custom about uh, every Friday, custom or a rest mod. But anyway, uh, again, if you like this video, 
please give me a thumbs up. And um, I will see you in the next.